We've dealt with so much. What's the one thing yet to deal with? And that's the death of one of their own, you know, one of their contemporaries, one of their circle. And that is the ultimate, I mean, if, if you don't come of age during that, then I mean, if nothing thrust you into adulthood, that would do it. And so I chose Jen because, um, because I thought it was very tragic. It was very sad. The only decision left is the one that I need to make with myself. I mean, I know who I'm supposed to be with. I've always known. Really? Yeah, but then the fear takes over. The free-floating, anxiety-ridden fear in the pit of my stomach that makes me run. Jen, I am completely comfortable running. I really don't know any other way. When I thought of all the different characters who could die, I thought, well, if we kill Jen, that's going to force our other three into action. Maybe I can help. <clears throat> what if I demand that you make that decision? No more running. I'm going to make it my dying wish. So I chose Jen as a way for Joey, Dawson, and Pacey to finally pull their lives together and to thrust them into adulthood once and for all. I also envisioned, when I first thought about it, I envisioned that very first scene of where Grams goes over to Jen when she realized, I wanted the moment that she died to be with Grams and that she would walk over and, you know, kneel. I, mean, I, I these are like my, my real family members. I get choked up thinking about it. But Mary Beth Peel was so beautiful. She leaned over and kissed her forehead. I'll see you soon, child. And she said, I'll see, I'll see you soon, child. And I envisioned that scene. So it had to be Jen. That scene just came to life in my head and I had to see that play out. And they were so wonderful.